This presentation is brought to you by Pocket Oracle. The definitive quick pocket reference to Oracle. In this session, we will see about the acid properties of a database. Jim Gray defined the acid properties for databases reliable transaction system in the late 1970s and he developed technologies to automatically achieve them. Later in 1983, Andreas Reuter and Theo H. Durr coined the acronym ACID to describe those properties of the database. In the world of computer science, ACID is a set of properties that guarantee that database transactions are processed reliably. A stands for atomicity. C stands for consistency. I stands for isolation. And D stands for durability. Before we move on the details about the properties, let's learn what is a transaction. In the context of databases, a single logical operation on the data is called a transaction. For example, a transfer of funds from one bank account to another, even though that might involve multiple changes such as debiting one account and crediting another, can be termed as a single transaction. Atomicity Atomicity requires that each transaction is all or nothing. If one part of the transaction fails, the entire transaction fails, and the database state is left unchanged. An atomic system must guarantee atomicity in each and every situation, including power failures, errors, and crashes. In other words, the entire transaction must commit as a unit, or not at all. Consistency The consistency property ensures that any transaction will bring the database from one valid state to another. Any data written to the database must be valid according to all defined rules including but not limited to constraints, cascades, triggers, and any combination thereof. Say if you are doing an account transfer, you are moving money from one location to another. Consistency, in this case, requires that money not be created or destroyed. It must be moved, and the amount credited must be the amount debited. Isolation the isolation property ensures that the concurrent execution of transactions results in a system state that could have been obtained if transactions are executed serially, that is one after the other. The changes done by a transaction should be invisible to others. Oracle provides a concurrent environment through a locking mechanism. While a process has a row, locked, it cannot be modified by another process. However, via the read consistency mechanism, other processes can see the data in the column before it was modified until the changes are committed to the database. This is achieved in Oracle through the use of the undo or rollback segment. Durability Durability means that once a transaction has been committed, it will remain so, even in the event of power loss, crashes, or errors. In a relational database, for instance, once a group of SQL statements execute, the results need to be stored permanently, even if the database crashes immediately thereafter. So after a transaction completes or commits, the data must remain that way and will be visible to all users. Thanks for watching the presentation. For a quick reference of Oracle concepts visit pocketoracle.blogspot.com.